What is up? It's the Figure Hunter, and today we're going to do a review of the DEXA scan and the DEXA scan impact in looking at your overall sort of like internal makeup, your body fat composition, your bone density, as well as your muscle mass. And this is a one video as a part of a four video release, because over the last couple of months, I've worked really hard on focusing on my nutrition and my exercise. And I've seen some, what I would feel like is pretty dramatic results in both losing fat and in gaining muscle and in gaining bone density, all of which you can learn about or you can see clearly displayed in a DEXA scan. So this particular video is going to be focused on the results of the DEXA scan and more overview features. There's a video, a video being released alongside this that is like the, the DEXA scan technician walking through the entire DEXA scan, all of my stats and just out there in the public. That's going to be a separate video, as well as we're going to do a review or a follow-up video for the Zozo Fit uh, suit to be able to track your progress over time physiologically, as well as I'm going to do a whole video on what particular diet changes I approached or I put into place to see both fat loss and muscle gain and bone density uh, gain over the last couple of months. If you are new to this channel, I try to focus on three things. One is testing devices for the purpose of CrossFit or high intensity interval and really looking at the wellness and recovery as well as the training you know, evaluation for each of these devices. Two is taking an objective sort of comparative view. So if a device says it has a feature, how does that feature actually compare to other features like it on the market? And three, just no frills returns. I don't do a lot of fancy editing. It's just trying to get to the baseline content. So for this review, for this review in particular, alongside the four part reviews that we're going to look at, this is the DEXA scan. So what is the DEXA scan? So the DEX scan is like a dual x-ray. That's what it sort of stands for. It's sort of super low level, not damaging. It originally or primarily was focused on bone density for testing osteoporosis, but it is able to scan your entire body's fat content. And it's comparative to a hydrostatic fat test where you immerse yourself in water like the most fancy, expensive, but most DEXA scans only cost about $100. So it's a really in-depth scan of your whole makeup for not that much expense, as well as the muscle mass, like how much literal pounds you are carrying in muscle makeup to be able to track your muscle growth over time. We have all seen these deceptive things, these fat scales that do like impedance. That's what's called like impedance, like electrical waves through your system to try to determine your water composition, your skeletal muscle mass, your muscle mass itself, but primarily your body fat percentage composition. And if you've ever watched a review of any of these compared to like a deeper analytical evaluation of your body fat, they're all completely wrong. So we all want to know what our true body fat composition makeup is. And a DEXA scan is a way to accomplish it. So it'll give you bone density, like how strong your bones are doing. It'll give you the body fat composition, both in weight as well as percentage. And it'll give you muscle mass to be able to track those things over time. So we're going to look at the summary of the DEXA scan right now as I go through talking through the primary points that stood out to me that were a value of a DEXA scan itself. Alongside this video release, you're going to have the full technician, the sort of specialist he has been doing it for a long time, his whole review of a DEXA scan report so you can see what a DEXA scan report looks like. And then after this, in the next couple of days, you'll have the Zozo Fit reevaluation for how you can use the Zozo Fit suit to better track your progress physiologically. And then what uh, diet changes I actually made to be able to lose body fat percentage and gain muscle mass and bone density. So let's dive in to the results. All right, so here you have the DEX scan. It obviously has, there's multiple, multiple pages. So this is gonna be the brief summary versus the in-depth that the specialist from the DEXA scan company um, walked us through, walked me through rather. You can see like the main thing, a lot of people, we would go to DEXA scan four is we wanna know our body fat percentage, like an accurate assessment of body fat. Additionally, we wanna know our lean mass 
our muscle mass, as well as we should want to know our bone mass, which is what you see circled in this column. This percent body fat, 14.1, is with added skeletal fat on there, so it's not the technical actual body percent fat. Uh, percent body fat. So you can see though the lean mass, that's where you can track changes. And there'll be charts we'll look at to show the changes in a second. You can track how much protein you want to take in by those two numbers there. But you can see on the bottom here, this is why it's so useful because it breaks down what changed in your body. Did you lose muscle mass? Did you lose fat mass if you went through a weight loss thing? And this shows I, I dropped 6.4 pounds, but 8.5 of it was fat loss and 2.1 of it was muscle gain. So a lot of times you'll lose muscle alongside fat, uh, just at a lower clip rate. But here, this is the benefit of, you know, um, I, I guess just a, a good approach to dieting and to exercise. So down 8.5 pounds in fat and up 2.1 in muscle. So you get that little V shape. Um, the other thing you can see here is where you see the body fat percent change. So the 13.5 you see in the left column, that's my percent body fat. And so you can see a 4% difference. Uh, any of these, anytime you see a centile ranking, that's like what percent rank you are. Um, so top 1% where this one shows zero. So top 0 0.1, 0 0.5, something like that. Um, but 4% body fat loss you can see that tracked over time plus you just get the pure what's your body fat percentage versus all the scales that don't do a good job um lots of different details that that again he'll go over and if you wanted to listen to the long version this is also really useful partially for the picture we'll talk about in a second but for the bone density so that's what's great about the dexa scan is it it really tracks your density of your bones in different parts of your body which is really important as you age but here we're also able to see that in this weight loss period where I gained muscle and lost fat, I didn't lose bone density. I actually gained 0.8% bone density, which is really a, a positive because usually you lose it. But you can also see it in different parts. So like where you want good bone density is in your legs and in your spine. And you can see the, um, the numbers that are sort of the standard for good and what doing weight bearing exercises, what doing CrossFit, what lifting weights overhead actually does for the legs and spine bone density, them well above any of the good numbers. But this uh, chart on the left, really super helpful because when I first took the scan and I was 17.5% body fat, so I don't, I didn't feel like guilty about that, but I had red pockets of red where you can, you know, we all carry our fat in different places, but this shows you where your fat exists and you can see it visually disappear. Um, as the red, other than the areas where my thumbs were touching, the red is just sort of like gone now. I just have yellow areas, which is a real positive thing. But you can see the visual transformation outside of all these numbers and details. It just gives you a really in-depth scan for a really, really reasonable price. Here you can see like where you carry your fat in different spots, but you get the bottom line composition in the right here, the total fat mass loss, but also the lean mass gain. So you can track how much muscle you're carrying over time and how much fat you're carrying and where you're losing fat or gaining muscle or the reverse. You know, you can go to track that. It shows you, the deck scan shows you where you carry your fat or percentage where your body fat changed. Like that Android percent fat, that's like your waist. Um, and you can see that I, thankfully, the way my body chose to lose fat this time was on around my waist and that affects the stomachs or the abs, which is great. But you can see also ratios of what's a good ratio and track that you're getting into the good zone um, of good ratios. And you, again, lots of little details here. Here you can see your ratio of fat in your trunk versus your legs or the mass of fat in your trunk versus your limbs. And you can see, you know, I actually had a reversal where on these bottom numbers where I was 14% over because that bottom number is now the old number, 14% over and now I'm 14% below. The ratio changed directions and percentages and I went from like 30th percentile rank to top 3%. Same thing with the mass fat on the trunk versus the legs or limbs. I went from 18% over to 11% down. So I went from a 13th percentile rank to first percentile rank and it shows you what's good, you know, um, all these things just give you insight into your whole body. And then here you have your whole body composition breakdown by all sorts of details. So you could track, you know, your right versus your left arms, legs, and trunk. 
if you have a disproportionate strength, like I, like I do, you know, um, and you know, different parts of lean muscle mass, um, an overweight towards one side of my body versus the other. And then the other really cool thing, you could, you could work on that. You could work on different parts of your body. The other thing is it gives you a scientific metabolic resting metabolic rate where you can know, like if you're tracking calories to know what your true resting metabolic rate is from a scientific, more in-depth analysis. So there's just lots of details you can get from these DEXA scans and just goes through so much. And it is all within um, about 1% accuracy. So just worthwhile in every way, shape, and form to be able to track your health um, once every six months, especially if you're working towards body change. So in summary, looking at the DEXA scan, it's freaking awesome. It like goes through like in depth at like a 1% like plus or minus differential, like really accurately, you know, to look at all these components of your body and how they also could be changing over time. So I feel like a singular DEXA scan is super valuable to check bone density of different parts, you know, like your, you know, if you're off shape, like if you're one part of your body's heavier than the other, more muscle mass, but just to check your overall physiological health, it is the most comprehensive way to do it. And I can't stress it enough, but you can also track your progress. The DEXA scan acts like a tracking metric for like probably every six months in big change. And the Zozo Fit suit, I feel like tracks on a monthly basis to see your physiological change because it's not always perfect because it's using light and a camera and things like that. So to be able to see for me on the DEXA scan, loss of eight and a half pounds of body fat and gain of 2.1 pounds of muscle and an increase of bone density of 0.8% and all those stats statistically change and get so much stronger for the better. Um, I'm excited to share with you like what diet changes I went through and what my approach was and all this sort of time period to see this transformation. Um, and I'm continuing to do it. So hopefully I'll continue to get the same results. So with that, that is the overview, sort of the breakdown of the DEXA scan. It's the figure hunter. Make sure you check out all four videos in this series and please give it a thumbs up if you like it. It really does help the videos themselves. Thanks so much for watching.